Rulo and his friends would love to have access to a training centre, like those from other regions, where they could prepare for their football and tennis matches. But the land of fun has no such facilities. However, this year, the head of the land, Mr. Cobble, has raised money from the community to build the first sports training centre in the region. Unfortunately for Rulo and his friends, Mr. Cobble has a hidden agenda. He plans to get something for himself and is not terribly interested with the well-being of his community. Mr. Cobble knows that there are two families who build training centres, the Greens and the Blues. Instead of requesting them to deliver a proposal of the project they can build, he plans to choose the family who is willing to offer him a part of the money for the contract. No sooner said than done, the Blues were the first to accept the proposal of Mr. Cobble and they won the contract. The only problem is that now they have to pay him and they have less resources for the centre. In the end, some training facilities are built but they are much smaller and the tennis and football fields are full of holes. But Mr. Cobble received his money and he's satisfied. Sadly, this year again, Rulo and his friends will not be able to take advantage of the training centre like those from the other regions. They will continue to prepare in their school's courtyard. And this is because Mr. Cobble behaved corruptly. Instead of spending the money from the community to build the best possible sports centre, he used the situation in order to obtain a personal gain. What would have happened if Mr. Cobble would have asked for correct proposals from the two families? without requesting something for himself. Can you imagine other situations where corrupt behavior produces negative effects? 